Speaking of liking what they're doing, also in New York or New Jersey, the Jets. Aaron Rodgers is coming to town, baby. Mm -hmm. This is it. I mean, they were a playoff team last year if they just got competent quarterback play. Yeah. If they just got a few more games of Mike White instead of what Zach Wilson brought to the table, which was which was not great. And now you have Aaron Rodgers showing no signs of regression. He's going to play like he's 30, not 40. Still has the arm. He's brought some friends. You got Garrett Wilson ready to be the next Devontae Adams. You have maybe the best corner in the NFL and Sauce Gardner. All is looking good for the Jets in 23. Yeah, I mean, it really is Aaron Rodgers. Um, if Rodgers plays like he did last year, which, remember, was seen as a letdown, like a disappointing season, and what's, a, what's wrong with Aaron Rodgers, if he plays like that, the Jets should be in the playoffs comfortably. Um, and I think there's every reason to think he can go back to being the player that he was before that, the bank-to-bank -bank MVP caliber year, because... There's no physical sign that anything has happened to him. He looks as good now as he did, you know, those two years or even previously in his career. And we kind of predicted that kind of decline coming just because of what the receiving core looked like. It's exactly the same as it was the last time he didn't have a legit number one receiver to throw to back in 2015. Now he's got Garrett Wilson, who looked fantastic as a rookie despite the Mike White, um, Zach Wilson, you know, Chris Streveler train wreck at quarterback that they had. Garrett Wilson with Aaron Rodgers throwing him the ball could go to the absolute moon in terms of production. They've also brought in Miko Hardman, Alan Lazard. Your guy Corey Davis is still there, but now is like a three or a four. Denzel Mims is somehow still clinging to this roster. They have a good group of receiving talent. Loaded up on the defensive line with Will McDonald at, at pick 15 to go with Carl Lawson and Quinnen Williams. Uh, they won't be as injured on the offensive line this year. So they'll, you know, they'll be healthier and they've, they've actually, if everybody stays healthy, they've actually got some depth rather than a, a liability on the offensive line. So uh, Jets, AFC East champions this year with Aaron <laughs> Rodgers coming to town.